Welcome back, loyal viewers. So here's an interesting deal. You're looking at a single-family home in Cincinnati's hottest neighborhood. This is Northside. Uh, you see a, a five-room, two-bedroom with a driveway. Let me give you a quick peek around the neighborhood. This is along the northern edge of Northside. This is up past the Comet, for those of you who, who know the neighborhood. But it is still in Northside, and it's a cute little house, except for a couple things. Um, first, let's take a look here in the back. You can see where the, the porch roof was torn off. Uh, this, this property was undergoing renovation. You can see someone came in and hacked down some brush and weeds and then didn't bother to do anything about it when they were doing the yard cleanup. Kind of a triangular back lot. But uh, this house had a small fire when the work was being done. And we'll go inside and take a look at that. So we'll start right here and get kind of right into the heart of this. The, the ignition point was down there in the basement. And we'll head down there later and actually take a look at this. But you can see there's some joist damage right there and some, some other damage that that wall of the stairwell is going to have to be rebuilt there at the bottom and you're going to have to do something about the flooring in here. Uh, in the foyer, fire stuff aside, take down the paneling, do a good patch paint job, and then uh, piece together the flooring or just replace that whole section of hardwood floor. Into the living room, some more paneling to get rid of, a uh, bunch of cleaning and paint, patching and stain killing and then painting uh, because you're going to have to stain kill to cover up the all the smoke residue that's still on everything. There are hardwood floors here on the first floor. We're now in the dining room. It needs more of the same. Uh, patching painting, you can see some ceiling damage up there. Um, for a retail deal, I'm going to go ahead and say just go ahead and put a new roof on this thing um, that'll just have to be done to, to for it to go retail and then into the kitchen which just needs a, a total bomb um, it's it's trashed anyway and it's a good thing because we're gonna we're gonna also reconfigure the bathroom that's right above it uh, we're gonna give that a new layout so it, it's kind of all good that this just needs to be demoed anyway because it's gonna make it easier to change the layout upstairs. So this is a good sized room. It just needs to be kind of redone, studs back in. Uh, so let me tiptoe across here. See, it's not that bad. If I can walk across the damaged part, it just ain't that bad. Uh, the stairs to the second floor are, are perfectly walkable. There's, there's no problems there. The bottom of them will need a little surgery and a little scabbing. Uh, but there's nothing alarming there. So into bedroom one, again, a good-sized room with nice closet space. Um, again, a patch paint, some kind of flooring carpet for a retail deal, perfectly appropriate. Um, a decent, need a decent color scheme, coved ceilings here in the master bedroom, uh, surprising amount of closet space there that's a, a normal size closet. And then over here in this dead area, you have a little hobbit size closet right there that's that's deep but short and narrow so yeah that's uh basically just storage space not really closet space that's just a connector door to the second bedroom uh that's fairly common for this era of house i would probably just leave that alone i'd put a lock set on it um and call it good so into bedroom two nothing shocking or surprising you know uh heavy patch paint carpet or refinish the floors. This has one real good size closet in it, which is just quite a bonus uh, for this era of house. So then we'll walk back through here and I'll show you the kind of mess that is this bathroom. Uh, it's, it looks like it's had a couple half-ass renovations to it over the years. I hate the layout of this bathroom. I think it's completely inappropriate and I would just hand grenade this thing and put the tub along the back wall. I'd try to leave the built-in if I could. That's a nice touch. Um, but everything else is pretty much going to go and have a, a nice new bathroom. Maybe go a little retro look if you can. Uh, you know, and we can talk about examples of that and what that should look like. So down here in the basement, the, the rewire on the house was largely already done. You see all that nice, super purdy 
uh, yellow romex everywhere. They haven't gotten to the furnace yet. I love this. Let me let me spend a moment here because I know a lot of you have probably never seen one of these, although you've heard of them. This is what's known as a gravity furnace. Um, they were really popular because they didn't require a fan. The furnace would still heat the house. See that giant cold air return? It's enormous, so the tendency of cold air to fall and warm air to rise would cause the furnace to still operate, like by Brownian motion, uh, even if the power was out. But now it's it's ancient. Uh, the water heater I would probably write off, although you can see new plumbing everywhere. The PEX has all been put in and at least stubbed in. Uh, all the way over to the laundry area as well, and just a bunch of debris and cleaning, and you need glass block windows. Uh, I wanted to point this out real quick. This the source of ignition. That is a, a power point, like a multi-strip outlet that was apparently overloaded, and that became the ignition point. We're right below that hole in the foyer. So let's sum up. Uh, we're in Northside, a two-bedroom house, probably worth ninety-five, a hundred thousand dollars. We're selling it for twenty. Our estimate is to do this correctly, to do the full rehab, you're going to spend about forty grand. So you buy it for twenty, you put you put forty in it, you sell it for ninety-five or a hundred, even with you know, uh, sales costs and holding time and all that, that's a real nice payday and it should be a good mover. So if you have any questions or concerns or you want to get inside, by all means, shoot me a text, give me a call, and I'm happy to talk to you about it. Thanks.